In this example, we want to find a power series for natural log x centered at x equals to 1. So to do this, we're going to use the fact that the for the function 1 over x, this is equal to the series that you see there. Okay. All right, so this is just based on the geometric series. Okay. So we know that the, the integral of 1 over x is equal to the natural log x plus some constant. Okay. So what we can do here, if we want to find the, the power series for natural log x, then we can take the integral of the corresponding power series for 1 over x. Okay, so that's how we're going to approach this. Okay, so the natural log, okay, so natural log x is going to be equal to the integral of the series minus 1 to the n, x minus 1 to the n. Okay, so we're going to take the integral of this series. Okay, so to take the integral of series, it's just, I mean, this basically is just a, the series is just a, a polynomial, basically. So you're going to use, use the power rule to do this integral. Okay, so this is going to give us, okay, Okay, so minus 1 to the n is a constant. Okay, so we're going to have x minus 1 to the n plus 1 all over n plus 1. And then plus some constant here. Okay. So to solve for c, okay, we're going to use the, uh, use the fact that the natural law that we're expanding, right? Or we're using the fact that this is centered at one. So remember, if the series uh, for for a power series always converges at the center point, okay? So we're going to use this, okay, to find C, okay? Okay. So then we're going to. Okay, because we have natural log 1, okay, and we plug in x equals to 1, so we know it has to converge at that point. So we're going to get 0 here, divided by n plus 1 plus c. So this is just going to give us, uh, natural log 1 is 0, so therefore this is just 0 equals to 0 plus c, which means that c equals to zero so therefore right our our power series for natural log x is equal to summation from zero to infinity of minus one to the n times x minus one to the n plus one divided by n plus one okay so now we need to um, check for the endpoints here okay all right. Okay, so for the radius, sorry, for the interval convergence, okay. All right. So we need to find that, okay. Okay, so for the interval convergence, Okay, we we look we're looking at uh, basically we're looking at this part here. Okay, okay, or what we can do here. Okay, we can go ahead. We can also do this by uh, using the ratio test. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and take this approach. So find the interval coordinates using the ratio test. All right, so we need to take, okay, so we have to take the limit as n goes infinity of the nth plus one term divided by the nth term. Okay, so we're going to have minus one to the n plus one 
times x minus 1 to the n plus 2 divided by n plus 2. And I'm going to go ahead, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and just multiply the, uh, or take the reciprocal of the denominator. So we're going to have n plus 1 divided by minus 1 to the n times x minus 1 to the n plus 1. Okay. All right, so then some things will cancel out. Okay, so we have minus 1 to the n plus, well, first of all, okay, actually you don't need to write this. So we have minus 1 to the n plus 1, so that's going to give us minus 1 to the n times negative 1. And then negative 1 to the n is going to cancel out down here. Okay, so this will cancel out with this, and we're left with minus 1, but then we're going to take the absolute value, so so really don't need to leave it in there, okay? So we're going to have x minus 1 to the n plus 2 divided by x minus 1 to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 over n plus 2. Okay. All right, so then all right, so we're going to have so we have x minus 1 to the n plus 2 divided by x minus 1 to the n plus 1. So that's going to leave us with an x minus 1 on top. Okay. And then we have n plus 1 over n plus 2. So this, this is equal to the absolute value x minus 1 times the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 over n plus 2. So this limit is equal to 1, okay? So for this, we need to, from here, we need to figure out uh, for which x values this series will converge for. So that implies solving for this, okay? All right, so now this is the same as minus 1 less than x minus 1 less than 1. So we're add 1 to both sides, so we're going to get 0 less than x less than 2. So this is our interval of convergence, okay? All right, so now we need to check the endpoints, okay? All right, let's see. All right, so check endpoints. Endpoints. So first one is to check the endpoint of, let's see, we can check the endpoint of zero. Okay. So let x be equal zero. So we're going to plug that back into our series. Uh, so we're going to get, okay. Summation from zero to infinity of minus one to the n times negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay. All right, so this is the same as we have minus 1 to the n and then negative 1 to the n plus 1. So we can write this as minus 1 to the n times minus 1 to the n times minus 1 all divided by n plus 1. Okay. So that's going to be, okay, uh, this is going to be canceled out because that's going to give us positive 1. And so we're left with minus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, and the negative is just a constant, so we can work with this. We can work in this form. Okay, so what we can do here is we can use, um, we can use some comparison tests to do this. Okay. All right, so let's, we can use either a direct comparison or limit comparison. So let's use the limit comparison. Okay. So we can use the limit comparison test.
use the limit comparison test. Okay, so we want to, so for that test, remember that we need to pick a, a series that resembles this one. Okay, so let's use, uh, let's, yeah, we can use one over n. Okay, so this resembles And let's see. And okay, we can use so since we're using one over n, then we need to start from one here. Okay. All right. So now, okay. Uh, so let's see. We right, we have. Okay. So we can take all right. So we take the ratio of these two. Okay. So we need to take the limit. As n goes infinity, and take the ratio of 1 over n divided by 1 over n plus 1. Okay. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 over n. So that's going to give us 1. Okay. So that is, this is bigger than 0, and it's finite. Okay. So that tells us that because this, okay, because this is diverge, diverging, right? This diverges, therefore, uh, the sum, the other summation, the other series diverges. Okay. And so with the negative, if you put a negative, it also it's just a constant. Okay, so so it's still going to diverge. So that tells us that at x equals zero, uh, this series is diverging. Okay. So now we need to check uh, the other endpoint. So we're going to let x equals to two. So plugging in 2 into our series, so again, we plug it back into here, okay, the series for natural log x, okay, so we're going to get minus 1 to the n, times, let's see, plugging in 2, let me take a look here, which one was it, 2, yeah, so we're going to get 1 to the n plus 1. over n plus 1. So that means, okay, we have 1 to the n plus 1. That's just going to be 1. So we're left with minus 1 to the n over n plus 1. Okay, so now we need to see whether, we need to check to see whether the series converges or diverges. So in this case, this is an alternating series, okay? So we can use use the, the alternating series test. Okay, so the first condition is that the limit of the nth term here, nth term in this case being 1 over n plus 1, right, that's going to go to 0. So that's Okay, so that's the first condition. Uh, the second condition is that the nth plus one term must be less than or equal to the nth term. So we're going to have one over n plus one less than or equal to one over n. Okay, so this implies that we have n less than or equal to n plus one, and this implies that we have zero less than or equal to one. Okay, so this is true. Okay, so therefore the n plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term. So therefore, okay, okay, therefore this, uh, this series converges by the limit, by, I'm sorry, by the alternating series test. 
Okay, so at x equals to 2, okay, at x equals 2, it was it's converging. Okay. At x equals 0, it's diverging. Okay. All right, so therefore, okay, the interval convergence for the series, okay, so we have, right, so for this series, the interval convergence, okay, it's going to be, okay, right here. So the interval convergence is going to be from uh, 0 and to 2, and it converges at 2. Okay. All right. So that's the result, okay, that we need.